what's the word with y'all, man? Yo, we got the top 10 anime fights of 2022. Yo, I, I swear to my, I swear to my, if my hero's not on here, nah, I ain't gonna go crazy. Am I here? Eh, eh, there ain't no real big fights of my hero yet. So let's really see what big anime fights has happened in this year. Um, This is a spoiler warning also for the people that don't want to get spoiled for any anime you want to watch, but you still want to be interested in the top 10 anime fight i will be putting this into chapters if you want to look at the fight that made it from that anime you can go ahead and do it that's on you if it's spoilers or not so hey i'm gonna leave it up to y'all for everybody else that's gonna watch the video straight through look man now watch mojo be doing some bullshit sometimes but hey let's see what's going on here let's get straight into this Oh, oh let me move myself Oh, One Piece might be on there. Okay. Number 10, Ainz versus Go Gin. Yes, sir. That was a good fight. That definitely was a good fight. I didn't get a chance to finish this season either, but, um, but what I seen was really good. I didn't think they was going to be able to in like to keep this series going but they showed it there he confronts the so-called warrior king mm -hmm. and proceeds to get royally kicked off his throne <laughs> badly Ainz ends his life revives him and then uses it as a sales pitch to recruit more underlings Hido. Hido. And all without his most powerful spells, too. It just goes to show that watching Ainz dominate an unsuspecting opponent will never get old. Nope. Ainz? Apparently, both his power and his recruitment skills are second to none. Number 9, Denji vs. Bat Devil. Chainsaw Man. Airfare atop a flying monster always comes with some risks. Like, say, no. crash landing in the middle of Tokyo. I'm not gonna lie to you, like I, I, I understand Chainsaw Man is a good enemy. Aesthetically, the fights is good, but what else could he do? Excuse me. <laughs> Chainsaw Man made it to top ten, though. That's good. Production values sell the I'm actually, I'm actually happy about that. Added comedic edge ensures the scene is never stained too red. <laughs> though, rest assured, Power and Miaoi are still definitely gonna need a shower afterwards. Want to know like Great what could he do after? Fabutar. Made in Abyss. I've never There's seen no this. real winner in this fight, at least not in the traditional sense. No, what the hell just KO on reg, but there's no satisfaction in winning a game that neither wanted to play in the first place. The show emphasizes the mutual heartbreak by interspersing the combat with memories of their forgotten meeting. What did he just put in his mouth? Personal element to the conflict that turns into more of a philosophical debate. It's Fabuta's instinct to destroy against Reg's determination to protect, which sculpts the series' main themes into two fantastic character arcs. Mm. The fight is not quick, it's not exciting, and it's certainly not fun, but that's also the whole point. Number 7, Everyone vs. Jaegerists, Attack on Titan. For the sake of their lives, their seven? country, and really okay. the whole world, humanity's fight for the ports... 7? I can say that this needs to be high the on the issue, list, the but... Alright. I will definitely hold this against you, Watch Mojo. Everything from 7 and on... I'm a expect... So, Titans, greatness. ...and survey cause... All mounted a bloody frenzy because this is wacky of high octane action. I, I wonder, I really wonder what's better. next. Fish. 
The stakes are so high that there's barely time to dwell on the fact Mikasa just made it rain with blood of some of her former comrades. Yup. She don't even think about it. Look at that. Look at this scene right here. Look at this scene right here. By the time it's over, there's as many epic moments as there are dead bodies. It's the kind of unforgettable set piece that only a series in its endgame could truly pull off. Seven? Number six, David vs. Adam Smasher, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I had to pause that, boys. I forgot about Edge Runner, boys. I forgot about Edge Runner, boys. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yo, if you have not seen Cyberpunk, bro, watch it right now. There's not a lot of episodes, like six, seven episodes, uh, something like that. Yo, go watch that joint, bro. Oh my gosh, I can't promote this more than anything else. But better than Attack on Titan? It's iffy. But all right. In a lesser show, a buzzy cameo could have easily overshadowed the impact of the final battle. But this is Edge Runners, and it's not content being ordinary. Yeah. It doesn't take cybernetic mm. enhancements I think he's to I think he sound better in English. Throwdown to remember. David's low on time. Adam Smasher makes a surprise appearance, and there's a fantastic song behind it all. Yes. I'm about to cry, stop. Expert use of stop. Color make it a true visual tour de force. But beyond its technical merits, there's a deep emotional gravitas that gives the techno world a real heart. <laughs> the end is as tragic as it is exhilarating. <sighs> but fittingly, David still went out laughing. <laughs> Number five. Why would y'all show that? This is Kaido. One piece. Why would y'all show that? A thousand episodes Why would y'all show that? And the one Why would y'all show that? King is somehow still stretching to new heights. No cap. Number five was One Piece, and I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all faces. I'm not watching this because I am deep in One Piece. No. Die versus Vern. Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Die. What? Sure, Dragon Quest music, is still going? Excellent animation are always appreciated, but even that can't replicate the epicness of a fight like this. Dragon Quest is still going, man. The wow. series spent nearly a hundred episodes building towards the inevitable confrontation between Dai and Vern, Dai right. King and Dragonoid, then good versus evil. To say it met expectations would be a massive understatement. There's flashy choreography, dramatic exchanges of power, and a certain weight that's only possible through meticulous plotting. The best part of the fight isn't that it goes to the sky and beyond. No, it's the feeling that, as early as episode one, this was always the way Dai's adventure was supposed to end. Mm. Now these two haven't seen each other for a thousand years. But it's safe to say they picked up right number two thousand year blow continue be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell see stuff like that makes me want to watch bleach and then when i watch bleach i get upset because it's fine for occasional videos all of them goodness gracious but number two bleach is really good number one slayers versus Daki and kutaro demon slayer kimetsu no yaiba and this is when i sit back and get very 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 upset right now i'm gonna watch this whole fucking series and i'm gonna sit here and be like what was so good about this because this what happened two years ago three years ago with demon slayer also where it was him versus that stupid ass spider and it wasn't that good like i don't understand they really sitting here dragging it bro and this is what i'm talking about with watch mojo bro they go by hype they go by hype, bro. They don't really go by what's what's good, bro. What is this? Uh, the but let's see. Let's see, though. Really had it all. Cause personally, 
I could I would switch spots with this and um Attack on Titan. I would even do that with, with Cyberpunk. I wouldn't put none of those number one, but putting this at number one when it's really like a top, like top five, top six fight is ridiculous. I would have let Bleach get number one. Shit. Two Kizuki, if it one Hashira, and an insane final fight. Together, the results totally lived up to the word entertaining. And that's putting it lightly. <laughs> Nigga, man. The breathtaking animation is a spectacle in every sense of the words, but even that second to the utter hype of some of these moments. That's After fine. all, there's no better metaphor for the series' willingness to raise the stakes than with not just one, but two decapitated demons. From Tengen's clutch entrance to Tanjiro's chilling final scream, this represents not just Demon Slayer at its best, but all of Shonen. Suffice to but, say, this fight definitely. Did he just say it all of Shonen, bro? What? This the slob on the slobbing is crazy. Lee Slade. Now, everybody that's seen this video from the, to the end and seen that Tanjiro and them, all of them just did that, right? I'm gonna watch Demon Slayer. I'm at the beginning of that up. Most likely, I'm gonna finish it before Saturday and I'm going to come with a review. If that's not number one, bro, if that's not the number one fight, if that does not, if that does not touch me like Cyberpunk, if I don't see, oh shit, that's cool as fuck, like Bleach, if I don't see, oh, that's, that's heart filling, I don't understand how they do it in the mindset of a freaking, in a war aspect, like Attack on Titan, on none of this, and I I see that they just put that there for hype. I'm gonna be so upset, bro, because they did this for two to three years straight, bro. Demon Slayer is not that good of an anime, and you sitting here putting it at top, at t number one, almost every year for fights. What's going on here? The only one that really deserved that didn't even get number one was the Morgan Train. They're bugging, bro. They are bugging. They're bugging out. They're bugging out, bro. They bugging out, bro. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm definitely gonna try and watch that anime tonight um i'm going to stream mass effect right after this so anybody that's interested in mass effect is gonna be my first time ever playing that game so put in the comment section down below your favorite anime what do you think about the list and what was your favorite fight of this year because their list is crazy give me any recommendations of anime you want me to watch any of that bro come on come through hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i make a video and try to go in the description box down below and hit me up on one of my social media platforms. I also stretch on I stream on Twitch. So yo, hit the boy up, bro. See y'all next time, man.